blast off, right? To take off, blast off. But you can use it metaphorically, to, uh, similarly to take off. Take off may be a little more common if you say, oh, this fashion item is really taking off. It means it's gaining in popularity. Um, you could also use blast off that way. So it can be used in a, uh, a metaphorical sense, blast off, um, something like that. But in this article, they're using it quite literally to blast off from the ground into the sky. Uh, number two, odds. This is a word that I'm very familiar with. This is a word that <laughs> I use probably every day. Uh, talking with my two friends in the chat room, we're always talking about sports and we're always talking about gambling. So we're talking about the odds. These days, there's one player, his name is Giannis Antetokounmpo, and we are talking about his odds to win MVP are two to one, meaning if you bet $100, then you can win $200, your return will be $300. So I really like those odds. I keep telling them, oh, these are great odds. I like these odds. Um, yeah, and you can also use it not just in the betting way, of course, but just talking about the probability of something happening. What are the odds of this happening? That's a question that I also might ask my friends all the time uh, because I like gambling and numbers and math. Whenever I'm talking to my friend about, oh, are you gonna come? Are you gonna come uh, to Bangkok with us? Are you going to be there at the dinner this weekend? I will say, hey, what are the odds? Give me a percent chance. And so my friend will say, oh, 80% chance I'll be there. 50-50, uh, that's a very common answer. Oh, it's 50-50, I don't know. 70-30, uh, people will give like a ratio like that. Uh, number three, get away with. Uh, if you get away with something, it means you aren't punished, you don't face any consequences, uh, there's no negative repercussions, a lot of ways to say that. Uh, you can get away with a crime, you can get away with something much more innocent and simple, you get away with it, the example sentence, you'll never get away with this. You can use it uh, negatively or in the negative sense as well. Uh, number four, incompetent. This is a good word. Uh, it just basically means you can't do this. You're not qualified enough. You're not capable of doing this. You lack the qualities necessary to do this. Um, it's just a uh, another way of saying that, but it's an adjective in, in one word. A lot of times if there is an employee, you can call them incompetent or he was quite incompetent. It sounds... Uh, pretty negative, you know, he can't do his job. He is not not worth any value, uh, at least for that task. Uh, it's not really attacking their personality or anything like that. It's just saying they are not able to do it. Um, and number five, to peer into. This basically means to look into, but to peer into sounds a little bit deeper is the best way I can describe it. To peer into this, um, you're really going to uh, kind of give a, a deep look. Um, how do they use it in the video? Peer into... Um, it can be used in the literal sense, you know? You're going to peer into some room um, or you, a lot of times it's used in, in the issue. Oh, we're going to look into this. We're going to peer into this. Uh, it just sounds a little bit deeper in my opinion, but it's basically the same expression. Uh, here they say, you can see across an entire continent and you're peering into something that is brand new for humanity. So they're using it in a kind of uh, important sounding sentence there. You talk about the earth? It has nothing to do, in that sentence, yeah. they're talking about the earth, yes. Um, you're weightless, the world is pouring by at five miles a second. You can see across an entire continent and you're peering into something that is brand new for humanity. Uh, actually, no, they're talking about, um, you're peering into something that is brand new for humanity. I would have to look at that paragraph as a 
whole, what we can do now, we can go look at the reading, um, he's peering into something. I think he's talking more about just the idea of being in space. Mm -hmm. um, and so in that sense, it's almost like you're experiencing something, but you're peering into something, meaning you're taking, especially because he does uh, talk about looking down at the earth, so there is an element of vision involved, which is probably why he says peering into instead of experiencing. You're peering into, you're seeing this, visually but beyond that just visual thing in front of your eyes you're really seeing and experiencing something that is a huge step for for mankind for humans to get off of the earth into space so he's using it kind of in a larger sense would be my interpretation of that sentence um any questions about the vocabulary